Welcome to V Newsletter, the music products industry's first and only video newsletter. I'm Jill Nicolini. I hope everyone had a great first quarter of the year with lots of sales and success. On the subject of success, recipients of the Alfred Premier Dealer Awards have been announced. St. Louis Music recently launched a line exclusive for members of the IMSO. We'll give you the skinny on some promising scientific research into music making. And can you guess which senator recently visited Diodario? The music group corporate parent of Behringer has announced the appointment of Indiana-based Starin as its exclusive for filler. Starin now covers all 50 U.S. states and protectorates. The company has sufficient quantities of product on hand to fill all orders across the country. David O'Kelly, vice president of global sales for the music group, said, quote, Starin has proven to be an exceptional partner, delivering service levels that are earning praise from our dealers across America. At the NAMM show in January, the winners of the 2012 Alfred Premier Dealer Awards were announced. The award recipients were Gail and Russ Beacock from Beacock Music and Lori Supiney from Cincinnati Music. The awards honor these dealers for building strong relationships with Alfred as well as for achieving retailing excellence. Located in Vancouver, Washington, Beacock Music is the largest independent music store in the Pacific Northwest. It's been a family-owned company since first opening in 1976. Cincinnati Music, located in Wichita, Kansas, was founded in 1984 by a former music educator and continues to thrive. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes with new products. The Ibanez Iron Label Series. Metal to the core. Not everything you need and nothing you don't. Let's get back to our roots. Gretsch has released five additions to the Roots Collection. That's a family of banjos, mandolins, resonator guitars, ukuleles, and rancher acoustic guitars. They evoke the feel and look of the era before the company made its entry into the electric guitar world in the 1950s. The models include the G9500 Jim Dandy flat top parlor style model and the G9240 alligator biscuit round neck resonator guitar. Plus the G9101 NYC Camp Uke G9112 resonator ukulele and G9126 guitar ukulele. Paul Reed Smith and Gary Granger began collaborating on what would become private stock Gary Granger basses a decade ago. Now this line has evolved as PRS Guitars adds two basses to its core product offering. They're the Granger 4 and the Granger 5. Granger collaborated with many bass artists to create a PRS bass with all the character and quality of his private stock models. Specifications include a maple top, mahogany back, 34 inch scale length, and 24 fret maple neck. Color me impressed with Omni System. The company's color blinder fixture utilizes 16 30 watt COB RGB 3 in 1 LED technology. The size of each panel is 19 and a half by 9 and 1 fourths by 19 and a half inches and consumes 500 watts of power. Features include color mixing, built-in program, strobe effect with adjustable speed, dimmer and master slave capability. The unit works in multiple channel modes including 3, 4, 6, 16 and up to 51 channels. Each block connects together with an interlocking hook. Individual LEDs can also be controlled. There's a new guitar line being offered exclusively to members of the IMSO group. Remo's continuing to spread the joy that music can offer. And we take a peek at the latest evidence about music making's health benefits. It's all coming up next. <laughs> of inspiration, a groundbreaking achievement in acoustic drum craftsmanship, Tama Star Drums. St. Louis Music recently announced that it is now managing and distributing the Sigma guitar line. These mid-level guitars will be offered exclusively to members of the independent music store owners group, IMSO. St. Louis Music CEO Mark Reagan began his career behind the counter of an independent musical instrument store. He's been dedicated to independent owners ever since. These acoustic guitars will map between $300 and $600. IMSO's Gordy Vulture, co-owner of Owensboro's Music, said, quote, 
quote, I cannot think of another company I'd rather enter into a partnership like this with than St. Louis Music. You know, those IMSO guys are really great. Here's a heartwarming story. Resounding Joy and Remo have partnered to bring the joy of music making to San Diego. With Remo's Recreational Music Partnership Program support, Resounding Joy Recreational Music Center and Clinic now has the ability to reach more of their local community. Founded in 2004, Resounding Joy is a nonprofit organization that promotes social, emotional, physical, and spiritual well being through music. Since it was founded, Resounding Joy has served more than 55,000 individuals. Brock Herricher, president of Remo, said, quote, We are so pleased to have the opportunity to collaborate with Resounding Joy. That's such a nice story, isn't it? Music can really heal the heart. There's always cool products coming out of NAM. Make sure you check these out. Is this real or the Matrix? ADJ's Matrix Beam LED is a 5 foot by 5 foot square panel that can be set up virtually anywhere. It creates instant electrifying blinder or chase effects for stages and mobile productions. It features 25 3 watt warm white Cree LEDs arranged in five rows of five. The matrix-like effect emits intensity bright spots of light that move to built-in chase sequences. It can produce alphanumeric characters via DMX control. Operational modes are auto, sound active, and DMX 512. TKL has unveiled improvements and expansions to its banjo case offerings. It's redesigned the inner compartment of the Concept 2.9-8740 resonator banjo case to be able to fit popular stands that are currently in the market. A lightweight molded case, the product also offers good strength due to TKL's construction process. TKL has increased its options in the Concept 2.9 series to include the 8742, which fits open back banjos with a pot of 11 and 7 8 inches. New from Avita Zildjian Company are three larger size ZBT models. They are the medium thin 17 inch and 19 inch ZBT crashes and the medium 22 inch ZBT ride. And the entire ZBT line has a new enhanced look with lathing on both sides of the symbols and an updated contemporary logo. The 17 inch ZBT crash and 22 inch ZBT ride will be featured in the ZBT X390 box set beginning in May. Zildjian is also introducing an updated logo for its entire ZHT line. Well, we'll be right back with our top stories. Diodario recently welcomed a United States Senator to its New York factory. We'll have all the details plus information about scientific study that indicates making music can really benefit people's health. Those stories are coming up next. The Sessions MH510 line of professional headphones from Cat Audio produce a wide frequency response of 10 hertz to 24 kilohertz. They offer extended lows, smooth mids, and articulate lifelike highs. They come in a modern cosmetic design with four colors to choose from. The Sessions MH510 headphones, sounding great from Cad Audio. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has grown into much more than hotspots. This year we celebrate our 35th anniversary. Check out our very popular lightweight headset mics, wireless microphones, and wireless personal monitors. New scientific research bolsters the idea that making music improves health and wellness. A study published in Medical Science Monitor indicates that recreational music making can have significant impact on the DNA level for people with cardiovascular disease. The subjects in the investigation had a history of heart disease, something stress is known to contribute to. Now, after a stress-inducing exercise, the subjects had either one-hour Yamaha Clavinova connection session or one-hour quiet reading session. Recreational music making evoked biological activity in considerably more pathways, 12 versus 2, when compared to the control group. U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand recently visited the factory of Long Island, New York-based The Adario Company. She announced the first piece of legislation she introduced in the 113th Congress. It's a federal funding competition that encourages states and regional public-private partnerships to design and implement strategies that spur growth for local manufacturing industries. It's also meant to train workers with the skills businesses need. Gillibrand's bill is called the Made in America Manufacturing Act. In 2008, D'Addario began a Make It Here program in response to the recession. Today, 95% of D'Addario's products are made in the United States. Well, that wraps up V Newsletter for now. But I, of course, will be back to see you next month with all the news and water cooler chatter the music products industry has to offer. I'm Jill Nicolini. See you soon.